What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the last episode, I ended up fighting Master Belch. I ended up uh, in the Milky Well. I got the Melody. I did the Sanctuary. And I am told that I need to cross the desert into Foresight. Now, fortunately, my friend over here, Mr. Saturn, has already given me something since I have returned back from the Milky Well Sanctuary. He has actually given me this cup of life noodles, a Mr. Saturn coin, and this stag beetle. I actually don't know what that does. I'm throwing this at the enemy during battle, the enemy shocks and stuff. Hey! That sounds... That sounds like it could be useful. Anyways, I'm more interested about this Mr. Saturn coin because I was looking it up and apparently it's even better than the coin of slumber that Jeff has. So I've been trying to figure out who I would really want to give it to and just looking at just looking at people's defense and luck, I'm almost tempted to give this coin to Hala. It's because he, she seems to have the lowest defense and as well and she also has the lowest luck. And I think I'm gonna have Jeff keep his his coin of slumber. Unless over here sticks with the hard hat, this is fine. It really needs not nothing more. Uh, I actually need to give the coin to Paula first. Thank you very much. Now then, look at that defense. Look at that defense. Paula's gonna be trucking through things along now. And I also managed to fix one of the broken items i believe it was the broken laser that i got and i actually have now have a laser gun for jeff unfortunately for whatever god knows reasons the ma i can't sell the magnum air gun so oh well i guess uh jeff is gonna keep the with the ugh. jeff is gonna keep up with the coin of slumber like i said before ness is lacking in defense but he makes up with it with his amazing offense not only that but ness has a lot of health like quite a lot Almost 300. Speaking of which, I actually leveled up these guys since the last episode. So they're all above level 30 now. I mostly did it for Jeff. Just because I wanted Jeff to have his IQ above 30. So that he'll be able to fix some of the broken items that he has. And I also remember that he fixed one of the broken pipes that he has. So that became a shield killer. Which, if I remember correctly... Yeah, it can be used many times. So that sounds like it can be hella useful. But anyways, I'm just packing up what I have to do here in Saturn Valley. I'm going to call Escargo Express really quickly so I could um, give them some of my crap that I really just don't need. Like the sprig. Like I have a sprig of parsley and it's just like, why do I need to use that? It's just a stupid condiment. So in the meantime, you know... Uh, I, well, I guess there is no meantime. I, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I'll be right back. Alright, now that I'm out of the Saturn Village, I just did some cleaning up with my inventory. Paula now has a lot of things <laughs> that I give her now. And I, I should probably use some of these bottle rockets one day because I'm just kind of hogging them up for Jeff. I don't know, I'm just, I just don't really want to use the bottle rockets. I don't know, I just feel like there could be like a stronger enemy here one day. And I might need to use them. However, with every strong enemy that comes, I either just attack him with like his regular gun. His laser gun, I guess now. Or, I just spy on them and just find out what kind of weakness they have. On the bright side, it looks like three is finally back to normal. Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to three. Thanks. Peace. Love. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to three sometimes? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The bus can get through the tunnel now. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined that? That, that, that's what happens. You, you guys just can't underestimate the Ness. Everyone always underestimates the Ness. And you know what? They always get fucked in the hand. 
I guess in this case you guys got saved because 3 finally looks better, if you can even call this better. I want to go through the desert and onto the big city. I want to see the city. I want to smell like the big city. I'm the real urban type of guy. Eh, with the city, you've seen it once, you've seen it a thousand times. That's what I will tell you as a city boy. Anyways, where to now? I'm assuming I have to go to that right side where it says to desert. I'm assuming there's nothing there's nothing left in 3 for me to look at, but for the meantime, at least, I'll just look around for a bit. However, if I don't see anything interesting, then we'll just go straight to the desert. Jeez, I thought that maybe for once I could finally have some fucking peace and quiet. God, stupid old man. One of these days I I'm just really want to slap him. Like, yeah, it's nice that I have these pictures, but like, dude, you get annoying. Well, I found nothing interesting when I was going to, when I was going around 3 I was looking at like a walkthrough and whatnot, and they did tell me that I needed to do something back in Tucson, and then I ended up with this. I ended up with this magic truffle, which is said to give me 80 psychic points, PSI points, whatever. Which is quite a lot, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be keeping on it. I'm gonna keep. I'm going to be keeping it, hogging it for whenever it, uh, the time comes. But I have to go to Foresight now, and what better way to do this than an epic bus ride? Damn straight. I've already been on two of these because I needed to go back to Tucson via the bus because I didn't want to walk all the way over there and I needed to go back to three again just to make sure I got everything and again I didn't want to walk all the way over there so instead we're using the bus I'm still under the impression that that's supposed to say like a Greyhound bus or something like that anyways there's this massive desert that we have to cross through if I remember correctly so, let's see how big this desert is. Actually, no, the last time I saw it, it was absolutely massive because Jeff was trying to... Drugs? What the fuck? You know, Jeff was trying to... What the fuck? Man, it's bumper to bumper! My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to get off the bus and walk around in the desert. Hey, it's a free country. Wow, he, he just fucking leaves. Alright. This traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go. Hey, what's what's wrong with these guys? Why, why, are we, why are we all sweating? What's wrong? I feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. I heard that a little ways ahead is a herd of buffalo running across the road. Can't move an inch. I was going to see my girlfriend in Foresight. At this pain, I'll be a hundred years old. Damn. Welcome to the welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. Dude, this sucks. I can't imagine being in a goddamn traffic jam in the middle of a desert. Like that doesn't even make any sense. Like a traffic jam has to be like super long for you to end up in the desert. What do we got over here? Uh, nothing interesting. Just out of curiosity, how much does the picnic lunch actually heal me for? 80, okay. It's not much. I thought it would have been more. 210 a night? Hell no! Beds are really old and dusty. Fuck that! All right, what do we have here? Oh, would you look at that, a coin to slumber. Don't mind if I do. Yes, sir. Here's the hard hat. It's dead to me. I think I'll probably go with the Mr. Baseball bat as well. Once again, give it to the Ness. Why not? 
And I will think the Lex Fry Pan would be alright for Paula. Damn straight. And I think we have everything we need over here. Thank you very much. Also, my money is going down the fucking drain. Does anyone remember a few episodes ago where I was at $9,999? And now we're down here. What the hell? On the bright side, we got a lot of great equipment here. A lot of great equipment. I don't think I can complain anymore about this. Because we are absolutely stacked right now. This is a thing that I was just curious. Why was there just a fucking sign that says drugs? You could have at least said like drugstore or something. Zip gun, bomb, bottle rocket. Mmm, bottle rocket. Yeah, I'm not gonna need a zip gun. I already have my laser gun. Butterfly! Get over here! Get over here, damn it! Mm. Fuck! I would time. I would travel back in time just uh, to fix this, but no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And in fact, I'm just gonna use this. That's what I like to see, baby. That's not good. That's not good. 373, open the hypnosis. Present. Oh, thanks, Jeff. I just want to get rid of this rust promoter, if I'm being completely honest. Fuck the rust promoter. God damn it. <laughs> what do you mean it didn't work? What do you mean? What the fuck, dude? That's bullshit. Get over here! Thank you! I'm gonna take care of you real quickly. All I just wanted was that freaking um, butterfly, but it just made a pain. Uh, I really don't know what to do here in this situation. I just kind of want to do a PSI freeze because this guy seems like he would be, he'd be, uh, he, he just, he just looks like the kind of person who would not like a freeze. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Successful, the brain shock. God damn, Jeff. My man is just picking stuff out of nowhere. I wish it told me how much HP they have. That would be really useful. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll just give the hamburger to Paula. Couple of life noodles. I'll take it. Why would you feel like talking to a tiny black sesame like me? I want to apologize to the white sesame that I heard before. Just see here. Dude, you're kidding me! You're actually kidding me! Dude, get on the fucking cactus, you fucking creep. Just please go away. I, I, I just can't. You just bring down the pace so much. How the hell does how the hell does somebody like you bring down the pace of an RPG? How? This is a big, massive problemo. Uh, healing. Uh, healing B. That's what I like to see, baby. Let's go. 
double burger. Poggers, dude. 100% beef. I was about to say, doesn't Paula not like beef, but I'm thinking about Delta Run. Really wish I have a map with me right now. Sheesh, I just wanted to talk with them. Don't need to be so. What the fuck? Why did you do so much damage to Jeff? What did Jeff do to you? He's almost dead! What a. What the fuck? Um. Hey, Jeff. Do you want to use this picnic? Uh, hey Jeff, why don't you use this picnic? We slip in the desert, so we often mistake, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? Stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. Annoying kid. What the fuck do you mean annoying? What did I do to you? So what is this noise that I'm constantly hearing? This whirring noise. Welcome, Kiki. Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind, and he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. Mmm. Is that where all the whirring noises I'm hearing are from? Would you look at that? Mole. Mole people are here as well. well this doesn't really look like I have much place to go to so oh oh butterfly no also why is my why is my thing flashing red what the hell do I have a cold or something what the fuck Jeff excuse me sunstroke uh healing fucking hell why do I- There's so much crap I need to deal with now. I just want to explore the desert, see if I find any more presents nearby. What is this noise that I'm hearing? Hey, a big ol' bottle rocket. And Ness has the sunstroke as well. This is why we can't have nice things, people. What do you have over here? Dusty Dunes headquarters finding for finding buried gold. Let's get my G. This hole's great. Good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like I was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving? No. Although he would hate it, pizza would work for him. All right. It's a small house, but please stay the night. Hey, thanks a lot, Chief. I'll take that, but I don't have any food now, do I? No, that's the thing. I don't have a food. I don't have any food. Don't worry, my G. I'll give you, I'll give you something soon. Just, just be careful. And hey, would you look at that? I made it through the entire traffic jam. What do we got here? I'm Big Brother Pancho. <laughs> I'm Kid Brother Pincho. Pincho. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> okay. The Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. Um, do I want to? Sure. Do I have to press something? And that's nothing. God. 
What's with this heat stroke things, guys? Sunstroke, whatever. I'm liking the music that we're jamming out to, though. One thousand dollars! <laughs> oh man! See, that's why you always need to look everywhere. Oh my god! Literally everyone has heat stroke, but Paula. And just as soon as I say that, she's gonna have it now, isn't she? Wow, oh, oh, okay, okay. So the traffic jam is just gone now, isn't it? Like, literally, as soon as I get all the way over here, the traffic is done. That Really? That's it? What a travesty. And the sad part about it is that I still have to look through and see if there's anything down here in the south. Which I doubt there is anything, but just want to make sure. Can I go through here? No, I cannot. Hey, what's this present? The Southern Guts Pill. Ness. Really? Oh. Man. Can we just kill this thing, damn it? That's not good. Okay. I am going to run the fuck away now. I will be going over here. Now, Ness, what seems to be the problem? You're homesick. I get the feeling. What's wrong, Ness? Sense of set? Are you homesick? There will be days like this. Must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. Do you feel any better? Better we get going. I'm <laughs> in the middle of her ironing. You know, I I would be the type of person to make fun of that, but you know, being homesick is an actual thing. I know, I, I know the feeling. I I I know the feeling, and you know, a mother's voice can definitely soothe in soothing things out and also what the fuck Paula <laughs> I just said you're the only one who hasn't gotten it also I am still waiting for my mock pizza so I can give it to that man I do not trust that sphere I do not trust that sphere at all PSI caramel I'll take that double burger I'll take that, I'll take that, and I still have to fight these guys. So, no reason to beat around the bush. You freeze him, you shoot him. Please don't die, for the love of God. Where's my mock pizza? I'm still waiting for that. These pizza, these pizza people, they just take forever. Reminds me of the one time where I remember I went to a pizza hut directly, asked for like, I believe it was like two pizzas and some like wings, and it took like more than an hour, it took like an hour and thirty! <laughs> it took fucking forever, and I'm like, dog! I, like, I, I, I get that, like, taking a pizza take its time, but like, an hour and thirty for two? That just seemed like a lot. Hey, mamma mia! It's my pizza pie. Thank you very much, sir. Anyways, doesn't really look like there's much. Mm. Uh, you're breaking my balls here, Jeff. You're breaking them. Anyways, there doesn't really seem to be that much going on here. And I need to go walk through the desert again. See you people laying down in the desert. Not gonna see anything about it. Skip sandwich, I'll take it. What is this monkey doing? As sea monkeys live in the sea, desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean desert, not dessert. I'm happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? No, I'm really not that happy about it. I'm not that excited. I don't really care. I hope I don't have heat stroke. Just need to walk. What 
the fuck? Why did he came all the way over there? And Jeff is sunstroken. Alright. As soon as we get out of here, run like hell. Run! Okay. There, is that better? Alright, where is my minor buddy here? Just out of curiosity. I don't remember this. Yeah, I don't remember the skip sandwich being very useful. Yes, I do. Why don't you take this skip sandwich? Thank you, I appreciate it. Alright, what do we have here in this hole? It seems like he's just been digging, digging, and digging. So, this hole is useless to me. What do you know? Now, I'm going to be going down over here. I am feel like I looked through everything in that desert. feel like I've gotten everything. All I just really want to know is... I'm not taking. I'm not taking another shot at that slot machine again. Hell no. What I was trying to say is, I want to go down that little hole where that monkey was to begin with. <gasps> Magic butterfly, get over here! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now need to keep walking. Need to keep walking. What is this dread noise that I'm hearing? Honestly, sounds like I'm in fucking Roswell. And there's like a fucking alien nearby. Alright, what do we have here? What do we have? The fuck? Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He is also abstaining from any, from anything that would make him sick or smelly too. Please don't bother him. Hello my G, are you not gonna say anything? Let me bother you. I am trying my absolute best to bother you. Okay, he doesn't seem to be budging. Unfortunate. Oh well. Anyways, this clearly seemed to be... This hole clearly seemed to be useless, so there's only one thing left for me to do now. Need to wait for the bus. I will pay for the fare. And I still don't have that much money left. Even with the thousand dollars, I still feel like I'm poor as shit. Anyways, you guys don't no longer need to worry about sunstrokes. I got you. We're out of the desert. Let's bounce, shall we? I didn't even get to see the Poncho brothers. Or the, the Sanchez. Yeah, no, the Sanchez brothers. Because only one of them was Pancho, the other one's Pincho, and the other one's Thomas Jefferson. What the fuck? Anyways, this should make our life hell of a lot more easier. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the lovely city of Foreside. That's what I like to see. Why is everything so slanted? I don't know. Maybe. I really don't know why everything is so slanted. Thanks for being so generous with your tips. You never gave me a tip? Uh, I'm sorry about that, G. Well. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to go out. Well, at least we found the hotel. Which is what really matters to me which means that I can also save how convenient anyways I think I'll leave it off for now if you like the video leave a like comment and subscribe 
Memento Mori and whatnot. My name is Pixel Love, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.